Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's do it. We're filming? Okay. Camera, lighting, everything's on, and go. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing something so crazy. We're making some pumpkin orange colored spaghetti. You guys won't believe this. It's gonna be amazing, magnificent, something you've never seen before. This will be an easy million views for the channel. I'm excited to give it to you today, so let's get right into it. First thing, I'm gonna show you the ingredients. We're gonna start with some spaghetti, and let's not waste time actually showing you what I'm using. You're gonna see it in the video anyway. First, I boiled some water. I threw some spaghetti down in there, and wait till you guys see what I did next. I strained the pasta in the sink. If my excessive loud screaming is making you want to chop your ears off by now, don't worry, you're not in my target demographic of 13 and under, so you can move right along off the channel. And guys, next up, in a plastic bag, I threw some orange food coloring. I put my spaghetti in there, and oh my god, guys, look at this. This is orange pumpkin spaghetti. I put some on a plate, and now I get to try it for you. Guys, look at this. Look how amazing this is. This is the real deal. The pumpkin spaghetti. Look at that. And now we get to try this out for you guys. David, you do realize that all mm -hmm. you did was took spaghetti and dyed it orange, right? There's nothing pumpkin about it. You at least have to put something on it that would make it pumpkin so we could put it in the title. Yeah, I guess you're right. Guys, we have one last secret ingredient. It is our pumpkin spice on our spaghetti. Now, this is the real deal. Let's give this baby a try. Mmm, that's so good. <coughs> Ugh. But thanks for watching, guys. Tune in tomorrow for another boring, repetitive episode of something you've already watched a hundred times. All right, we're cutting. Good. That'll be a quick million views, what do you think? I don't know man, these food videos aren't really doing the best anymore. Really? Alright, we'll just move on to like, hackers and stuff then. What is going on peeps? Welcome back to another uh, pumpkin spice video that was no shade at anyone specific. Um, there's just some YouTubers who, you know, grew their channels on the DIY and food genre that have since moved along and I needed to throw some uh, little shade their way. <laughs> but for the real video, I am gonna make some pumpkin spice spaghetti or fettuccine or linguine. We'll see how thick the noodles end up being. I'm gonna make a homemade pumpkin pasta dough. I'm gonna roll it out and cut it up by hand. The recipe I'm using is from Salty Seattle's video. If you have not seen her, she is amazing at what she does. I'll leave her down in the description. This shouldn't be too overly difficult or complicated of a video or a recipe if you want to try this at home. So let's get right into it. So guys, to make this pasta dough, all we need is a few simple ingredients that comprise of some eggs and some kosher salt, some pumpkin puree and some pumpkin spice, and some flour, some double zero flour would be better. I'm using all purpose, it should work just as well. So first things first guys, um, obviously we have to make the dough and you'll be happy to know that I'm not using any type of artificial colors, any food dyes, nothing. Hopefully we'll be able to get a nice color from the pumpkin puree. Even the yellow egg yolks should help with this actually. But as you can see, I pretty much combined everything except the flour in my blender. I blended it up with the eggs to make sure all that salt was incorporated and eventually I dumped it into two cups of my all-purpose flour. Two cups is kind of like a, a ballpark range. I ended up needing a little more because my dough was a little bit on the wet side. You're also definitely going to want to knead this at least for a little bit. You want all that flour incorporated. You want the dough to kind of bounce back when you press your finger or your hand down into it. And when I got to this point, I was pretty satisfied with how it was looking. And now is the time to bust out the old pasta machine. This is not electric, this is hand cranked, whatever you want to call it. It is very beneficial to have more than one person do this. Shout out to my dad, who is the other hand that you may see helping me do this. I sheeted my pasta nice and thin. I floured each side every single time. I pushed it through the rollers. And eventually I threw on the fettuccine attachment and just whipped them right through there as well. 
I noticed this was very delicate. Uh, if I stretched the pasta too much, the noodles would get all out of shape. I probably could have added a little more flour to make these a little more um, stable and hold their shape. And whenever you boil fresh pasta, I say it's more like blanching than boiling. This needs a minute or two, just like sticking your toe in the water, kind of like all those DIYers did with the genre until they got some views and then they bounced. See you later. <laughs> but now that my pasta is done and looking pretty good, I'm gonna make a brown butter parsley herb sauce kind of thing. Um, usually you would do this with sage, obviously, but I do not have any today. You wanna lightly toast all the milk solids in your butter. I used a half stick of salted butter for this. I know it's a lot, but it is called a butter sauce, so. I threw in some freshly minced up garlic, about a quarter of a white onion, I threw in some parsley, a little bit of salt and pepper, and from this point, it really doesn't need much time at all, another two minutes to allow those onions and garlic to get pretty soft. And when I got to here, I just dumped in my pasta in the pan, gave it a quick toss, and this is looking pretty dang good. I plated this up to the best of my ability, which isn't really the greatest, um, but it should taste fantastic, so let's give it a try. Now with how much pumpkin is in this, I would expect to smell that over anything else. I kind of smell the, the garlic and butter more than anything. Now my thought process with this is that you make pumpkin ravioli with like a pumpkin filling, um, so it's similar, you know, it can't be too bad. I wish I cooked the pasta like 30 seconds less. Um, maybe I was too busy shading people <laughs> to take it out on time. It's slightly more cooked than I would like. The taste is okay. I definitely wouldn't put it in the actual pumpkin spice um, because that taste kind of throws everything off a little bit. The sauce is really good though. If I got this at a restaurant or something, I'd probably eat this without even thinking twice about it. Um, so I'll give it like a seven and a half out of 10. Not too bad. I do hope you guys enjoyed today's pumpkin spice video. If you did, leave me a big like. This is the third of four. We have one more of these next week coming up and it's the biggest one by far. So look out for that. Don't go tweeting and telling YouTubers that I'm shading them like I've seen you guys do previously. It's all in good fun. It's not at anyone specific. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram so you don't miss my BuzzFeed polls every week. Other than that, though, have an awesome beginning of your week, and I'll see you right back here next time. <laughs>